So we have some uh, questions from uh, Powell. He actually uh, asked three questions. So I'm going to do it one at a time. So the first question from Powell is, why is the base port directed down and how does it interact with the stand? It's a very interesting question with several dimensions. This is the port of a Confidence 20 speaker. As you can see, it's a fairly large port compared to the size of, of the speaker, and I'll get back to that. To understand what is a port, how does it work, uh, we have a separate video on, on base ports that, uh, that you can take a look at. But briefly, um, the port functions as an organ pipe. It's tuned to a specific frequency, and that frequency is defined by the length versus the diameter of the port. So if you have a small diameter port, uh, you need a shorter length to have a certain frequency. Uh, if the diameter is large, then the port needs to be longer uh, to reach the same frequency. So why would you use a larger port? The reason for that is essentially with a smaller port, the air velocity will increase when you're playing the same frequency. Uh, and at a certain velocity, uh, you start to get port noise. So you can, you can hear the, the air going back and forth inside the port. So by making the port larger, you don't need as much velocity to have the same amount of air moving back and forth. So you can play louder without having any noise from the port. So it's always a, an advantage to have a large port. The problem is that a port this large doesn't actually fit inside of this cabinet. Uh, because of the shape of the cabinet, this is the exit of the port. Uh, so the back of the cabinet would have to be really large to fit the shape of the port. So by doing it this way, uh, we can actually make a very nice design of the speaker uh, and still fit a large enough port not to have any port noise. So that's actually the main reason why we, uh, we designed it this way. This design has some other advantages as well. Uh, so one of them is uh, if you still have a slight amount of port noise, uh, you might also have a bit of mid-range from the speaker coming through the port that you don't want to hear. By directing that down, you don't hear that as much in the listening position. So if it's pointing forward, you hear that very easily. If it's pointed back, you hear it less easy, easily, but it could, could still be reflected off the wall. So pointing it down, uh, you get a more clean sound. On the floor standing speakers, you get a, a second advantage, which is putting the port close to the floor actually boosts the sound from the, uh, from the base port a little bit um, because you have that extra reflection from the floor uh, compared to having it further up. Um, but that's not really relevant on the Confidence 20 because this is a stand mount speaker. What it, this does do is it impacts how we design the stand. So this is a stand for Confidence 20 and Confidence 20 actually comes with the uh, stand included in the price. And there's a good reason for that because this stand is specifically designed to work with the downfiring base port. So what would happen is, in the, if you had a normal stand, if you had the base port directed directly into the stand, the flat surface and the edge on the stand would create some noise when the air is moving in and out of the port. Uh, hitting that edge would create noise. So what we did is, uh, we created this soft surface on the top of the stand, so that when you have the port sitting right on top of that surface, uh, it's evenly spread out um, and doesn't hit a, a hard edge which makes it have less port noise. One other thing that's very clever about this design is, as you can imagine, when you're placing it here, it's not really fully closed off, of course, but it's also not completely open. The height above this space is actually designed so that the exit of the port, which would normally be here, the, that exit is now actually on the side here between the port and uh, the stand itself. So this distance of a few extra centimeters is actually calculated as part of the port length. As I mentioned, the length of the port defines the frequency. So that's why this uh, stand is actually a calculated part of the port tuning. One thing I would like to point out is that when we, in our communication, say the stand is part of the port design, uh, that is what that means. Some people misunderstood that and think this is the base port. Uh, this is purely for cable management, so you can route a cable in underneath and then out from here on, up onto the speaker. This has nothing to do with the base port design. The part that is designed to work with the base port is this upper part on top. But so basically, all our speaker stands are designed so that you can put sand inside uh, of, of the stand. So in this case, which we have done, it makes the stand very heavy. Um, so 
why do we want to do that? Basically, this is covered in uh, an older RC Expert video uh, that we are going to link to somewhere. What we want to do with uh, filling the stand with, uh, with a heavy substance like sand, we want to make a solid foundation for the speaker. So uh, when the speaker is screwed on top of the stand, uh, the stand will make sure that the speaker doesn't vibrate in ways we don't want to. Uh, so you get less distortion, basically, uh, by having that solid foundation. One more reason for putting sand inside of uh, the stand is that if you don't do that, uh, you have an empty space inside of, of the stand. And um, in Danish, we have a saying that uh, empty vessels make the most noise. Uh, so if you're tapping this because it's filled with sand, it, it, uh, it's a very damped sound. So if this was empty, it would be ringing. And when the speaker is playing, uh, that, that sound from the speaker can actually make the stand vibrate. So you avoid that by filling the stand with the sand. Question three, why does Confidence 20 has a different design of the surface around the tweeter compared to the floor standing models? Uh, so what Pavel is talking about is actually this part around the tweeter. On the uh, floor standing models, we have the DDC lens, which is steering the sound uh, towards the listener. So you have less reflections from floor and ceiling. Uh, but it's open to the side. So the question is, why don't we have that on the Confluence 20? Which is a really good question. Uh, it's basically, it's because the DDC lens was designed to work with the horizon mid-range that we're using in the floor standing models. And it works better if you have two drivers, one on, on top and one below the, the tweeter. So for our Confluence 20, we only have one uh, mid-base driver and it's a larger driver. And that doesn't really fit well with the idea of steering the sound towards the listener. So in a Confidence 20, we have to go for a more conventional tweeter design, um, which is what gives the best performance in this particular design. Whereas on the uh, floor standing speakers, we can do the, the DDC trick, so to speak. 